Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Jerissa. For those of you who don't know me, I try to post about three times a week, usually two. And don't forget to subscribe and turn your bell notification post. That way you can keep up with my nail tutorials. But I'm just going to be doing this very pretty strawberry look. This is honestly my favorite look that I've done since I've been doing nails. Some of you guys know that I am a beginner. And honestly, this is my favorite look so far. The acrylic just applied very nicely. Everything went super smooth. So I'm just going to be going everything and showing you guys how to get this look. It's super easy. So I'm just going to be going in with my Kira Sky e-file. And I'm going to be using this cuticle bit to remove any shine around the cuticle areas. This is very important if you are doing this on a client especially because you want that acrylic to stick on there. So prepping the corners where usually a lot of people don't prep is going to be key for your acrylic to stay on there. So now I'm just going to be going in with a fine sanding band. These sanding bands are from Nail Supply Glamour and I love them because they're very smooth. They're not harsh so this is very good if you're a beginner as well because it won't hurt you. And as you can see I'm just removing all the shine getting it ready for the tips. So now I'm just taking my primer and applying this on the edge of my nail. Now I usually do this after I apply my tips but I did see a video of someone doing this so I just wanted to try it out just to see what the difference would be but I'm going to be applying two coats of this. So lately I've been seeing people using nail forms a lot and I've honestly been wanting to try it. Now I have heard that it is difficult just because you are kind of like just freely doing this shape. Let me know in the comments if you guys want to see a video of me using them. I would be doing a first time type of video so just comment down below. Now I'm just going to be taking my 100-100 file by Mia Secret. Now whenever I do filing on myself, it can get pretty difficult just because it's hard to get a right angle. So I'm not doing it perfect. I'm still learning on how to do work on myself. But with this, you just want to focus on the edges. Especially if your tips are a little bit bigger, you want to make sure you're filing down that extra tip so it applies nice. And as far as the shape, I'm not too concerned about it. I'm not going to be messing it too much with the shape of the nail just because I already like how it looks. And this is a tip that I would recommend. Like, you don't have to focus so much on filing. If you get tips that are already the shape that you want, it makes everything so much easier. Now going back in with the e-file, I'm going to be going over that ridge, that line that kind of sticks up just to flatten it out. That way the acrylic applies nice and smooth. And if you guys are wondering, I have my e-file at about 3000 RPM and I do recommend going at the lowest RPM if you are doing this type of prep work. So I'm going to start by applying my acrylic at the thumb and just creating a bead, making sure that I have the right liquid to powder ratio. That way it applies very smoothly. So I'm just going to be patting that. I'm not going to be dragging right away. I'm just going to be making sure the cuticle area is all nice and then kind of dragging it down as I go. And don't forget to wipe your brush. You don't want any acrylic getting stuck in there. I've had that happen to me plenty of times. But I'm just going to be applying the strawberries as I go. I am using an acrylic powder that already comes with the strawberries in it. But the acrylic that I'm using is from Nail Supply Glamour and this is going to be in the shade M3. And as you can see guys, the acrylic is playing on their like little butter. It's so smooth. I don't know what it was about this acrylic powder. It was just very smooth and pretty. So I'm just going to be tapping that making sure it looks all nice. After applying that, I'm just going to go in with a clear acrylic and making sure I'm encapsulating these strawberries. Whenever I go in to file down, I don't want to be rubbing on them or ruining them. And comment down below what method y'all use when it comes to applying your acrylic beads. I know a lot of people are used to doing the three bead method. For some reason, that just never really worked for me. It's kind of random. I usually like to start at the cuticle and work my way down, but comment down below what you guys usually do. And guys, don't forget to wipe down the edges just so you don't have to go in and file as much later on. It's going to save you a lot of time if you're just making sure you're cleaning up the edges. Mm -hmm. 
Now I'm just going to be encapsulating once again and if you guys are wondering what acrylic this is, this is going to be the Mia Secret Clear Acrylic and it's super affordable. I highly recommend it. It applies very nicely as well. If you guys ever recreate any of my looks or this one that I'm doing, don't forget to send me a picture or tag me. I would love to see you, your guys' recreations. So a good way to make sure that your cuticle area is very nice is don't forget to clean the area. That's going to save you a lot of time when it comes to filing, but it's also going to make sure that your shape looks very nice and the apex applies nice as well. So something I did notice about the acrylic is that because the strawberries are kind of thick, when you apply the acrylic, it tends to leave like gaps in between the strawberries because it's kind of hard to fill in those spots. So I just go back with more acrylic and I apply like little beads and spots that I missed. And I just bought a new way. And I just want to say, if you're a beginner nail tech and you're watching this, I just want to say that don't give up, keep going. I know it can get kind of hard in the beginning. It's never going to be easy right when you start unless that you're just like, it just naturally comes, which it usually doesn't for a lot of us. But it's just going to take practice. Just like me, like this set is probably my favorite so far. I feel like I did a pretty good job with the application and it's going to get better. So even if you look back on my other videos, you will notice that like I am kind of like doing some errors. But all that matters is that you just keep growing. So just don't give up, don't look back and try to practice very often. And if you guys aren't already following me on TikTok and Instagram, I'll go ahead and leave those linked on the video. And I'm trying to be more consistent, but I do post like my nail looks and sometimes nail hauls. So go ahead and follow to keep up with those nail posts. Fighting dragons always been a real one. Hate you saying you're showing love, you a real chameleon. Get the facts freaking straight, always on repeat. Like, we could be friends if you wanna. We could just talk if you wanna. We could hold hands if you wanna. Hey, tell me what you wanna do. We could just laugh if you wanna. Late nights on the stars if you wanna. We could just kiss if you wanna. Tell me what you want to do. Uh -huh. To the table. Up, 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 to the... Stay strong. Stay strong. To the table, to the table. It easy, I can tell. I can tell.
after applying the acrylic i'm gonna be going in to fix up the shape now because i applied the acrylic very nicely i didn't have to do too much so i'm just going over it just to make sure it looks all nice and sharp and as you can see i am doing stiletto nails but later on in the video i am going to cut the tip just because i feel like they ended up looking better having like a ballerina type of shape but it just depends on you if you want to go with stiletto that's totally fine So now I'm going to be going in with my 5-in-1 bit by Kira Sky. I love this so much. It's super, super smooth whenever you're drilling your nail. And I like to start at the very, very tip of the cuticle and make sure I'm getting as close as I can to the skin. But you want to be careful not to cut it. And I'm just going to be filing down that edge. And you want to start from one end to the next and kind of work your way as you go. And now I'm just going to be going down. I don't know about you guys, but this is my favorite part about doing nails. I feel like it's just so satisfying making the shape look all perfect and nice. And like I was saying, if you're a beginner and you're struggling with applying your acrylic smoothly, filing is going to be your best friend to fix up that shape. And as you guys notice, I put this little armrest under my nails just so I can rest my finger on there if I need to fall down. It's very helpful. It's like an extra support. So that is a tip that I recommend if you are struggling to rest your hand on something. So now I'm going to be going in with my 100-100 Mia secret file. And I'm just going to be going over any scratches and making sure everything looks nice and filed down. So a tip that I recommend whenever you're filing is kind of looking at it like you're doing two sides. So you want to start on one edge and just go down like downwards and keep doing it until it smooths out and then you want to go on the other edge and do the same thing and I feel like this helps me get it done a lot faster and easier now I'm just going to be taking this buffer and buffing it out with the rough edge for a couple seconds on each nail and then I'm going to be going in with the soft dye. Silver step into the play, you bet I'ma hit it. What I'm doing in this game, I did in a scrimmage. Rappers wanting all this beef and burning up bridges. Deep down, they dinner with pain, they just wanna admit it. Won't stop till I get it. Speed it up when I'm winning. It's silver and under fine, um, period, no sin. And stay trying to give me the fit. And I'ma say Jesus and risk it. Treasure in heaven, generation, what I'ma pass the baton on my jits. Uh, how to make sacrifices for this. I can fake how to cut off some friends. Vision late ever since the beginning. Go get the bad, damn, bring it in. Every L was a lesson you did. How to nest, how to handle the biz. How about I watch him call it? And it's chilling right over the front. Now I'm going to be taking these lint free wipes from Mia Secret and I'm going to be taking the gel cleanser by Mia Secret as well. I love this combo because it gets rid of every little speck of dirt and it's super fast. You don't have to get up, wash your hands. You can do it right then and there with just one wipe. So I highly recommend these for clients as well if you want to speed up your time with them. I can do it on my own, yeah. 
they judging me off my mistake. And now I'm going to be taking my gel coat. After applying this, I mean, I'm going to be putting it under the UV light for about two minutes just to be safe. And whenever I apply this, I do go over it a couple of times just because I am running out of a gel top. So if you guys have any recommendations on a good one, comment down below. This one is all right. I've had like issues where it won't dry up all the way. So comment down below what your favorite gel top coat is. Get the cream on the side, make you have to know it. That's the stuff that I love, la, la, da, da, da. We can be friends if you wanna. We can just talk if you wanna. We can all hands if you wanna. Hey, tell me what you wanna do. Now I wasn't able to get cutting my tips on camera just because I did get out of frame but this is it for the video you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I love this look so much. If you guys recreate this look please send me the picture so I can repost it. Bye. I love you guys.